For Taekwondo welterweight fighter Haider Shikara, the road to Rio is a road of redemption. <laughs> Haider just missed out on London 2012 after losing to a Kiwi competitor in the Oceania qualifiers. So he embarked on a four-year mission to beat him to Brazil. When I won, it just like it was an overwhelming feeling of just sensation. It didn't really kick in for a while, but like just having that feeling of beating that New Zealand person that had beat me before, I just uh, it got me really excited, really pumped up. Now the 25-year-old is training twice a day, six days a week, to realise his Olympic dream. What about this sport? Do you like so much? I don't know, I just fell in love with it as a child. I actually was like not gifted at any sports, I just wasn't coordinated at all. So I just kind of like stuck to one sport, just did it every day and I was like, I'm just going to get good at it and I just enjoyed fighting. When he's not fighting though, Hayda Shikara enjoys keeping the peace just as much. Before Rio preparations ramped up, he qualified as a solicitor and co-founded a youth charity in yeah. Western Sydney. A few years ago we received a federal grant uh, for about $100,000 in order to target violent extremism in youth. Um, and so we used that money to go into high schools and uh, we, did, we did a program where uh, youth were able to channel their energy, I guess, their energy, maybe some of their frustrations into a more positive means. Everyone can tell that's not coffee, it's not a real drink. <laughs> After Rio, Haider and charity co-founder Ned Farhat have big plans to set up a youth centre. We have a lot of disaffected youth in the region um, from varying backgrounds, uh, whether it's cultural, religious, whatever it is. So, yeah, a youth centre helps bring all that together and also gives them something focused, something positive to focus on. Teenager Ibrahim Al-Ramadani was mentored by Haider in the past and knows his role model has plenty to give in the future. One thing that haters taught me the most is although there's so much stuff you don't have control of in your life, that if you put hard work and stuff into it, you can do whatever you want. After Rio, I'm not, with a lot of my time being freed up, I'm hoping to, to get back into the community and do a lot more work so, uh, and, to, and to show the community that you can achieve different things um, despite of your background, despite of the disadvantages you may have had. Can't beat them, break them. Australian coach Ali Khalil says the 25-year-old's become a leader in the Taekwondo arena and beyond. It's important for the community, such as the Middle Eastern community, to see Haider and look and think these things can be achieved in Australia. Australia is the land of opportunity and it does give all walks of life the opportunity to become a lawyer, to become an Olympian. And maybe to even bring home a medal. I'm just looking to enhance my performance, get the best performance that I possibly can and regardless of the result I'll hope to come away happy with my own performance. A winning attitude before he even competes. Mazoe Ford, ABC News, Sydney.